So up next is my pleasure to introduce Rabbit. Um, while Stephanie is getting set up, uh, it's my pleasure to introduce um, one of the most innovative cloud-based softwares that uh, in the construction real estate world. Rabbit is a cloud-based software that's built for real estate developers by real estate developers. Their construction finance platforms makes it easy to manage project budgets no matter the stage of development. Rabbit is used by top developers across the country, including Lincoln Property, uh, Cairo uh, Real Estate, uh, sorry, Cairo Residential, and Joy Construction. We're going to hear from Stephanie, Stephanie Gutman, who leads the developer growth team at Rabbit. Stephanie, welcome to our, to our virtual demo day. Are you there? Hi, Ash. Yes, I am. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, the uh, digital stage is now yours. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Excellent. Thank you so much for having us here today. Thanks to you and the, the rest of the CR tech community. We're very excited to introduce you to Rabbit. Let me go ahead Thank and you. get the screen going. All right. So the, the goal of today for us is to just give you a, a basic introduction into what Rabbit is and what we offer. Uh, by no means do I expect to cover everything today. Um, so I know that Ash will be um, placing a link in the chat uh, that will get you access to a free seven day trial of Rabbit to see for yourself. So with that said, I'll dive right into introducing Rabbit and then we'll get into the product and, and get hands on so you can see for yourself. So at the very basic level, what we do is provide collaboration and transparency so real estate developers can make proactive data-driven decisions. Oops. We're made for real estate developers. And so y'all may be familiar with a lot of systems out there for general contractors or property managers, but we really focus on real estate development teams and their needs. So we work with real estate developers of all sizes. Uh, we've got, you know, two person shops that are running very large projects using Rabbit to standardize their processes. And then we've got, you know, large nationwide brands that you might recognize here um, that are really using Rabbit to drive that collaboration and transparency on their project finances. So sometimes it's easier to describe what Rabbit is not. Um, so we are not a construction management software and we are not an accounting software, although we do play nicely with them. So a construction management software you might expect to handle your bidding or your, um, you know, subcontractor management and your accounting software is running your journal entries and your, you know, uh, account consolidations and whatnot. So we're neither of those. We are made for your project budget. So we help manage your project finances and create an always living budget. So you as a development team can know what's going on at any given time. So the average project size on Rabbit is currently uh, over $40 million. And so I put that here to really show you um, the more complex the project, the better, or the more complex your portfolio, the better. So if you are um, you know, running a uh, $3 million tenant improvement project, we've got you covered all the way up to, you know, a $550 million uh, office tower. You can put it all on Rabbit. So if that's who we're for and what we offer, machine learning is how we do it. So Rabbit is made to reduce manual entry, you know, to achieve the transparency and accuracy of your budget that humans sometimes need a little bit of assistance. So Rabbit finds and connects information for you um, and really, you know, boosts what your team is able to get done and share in near real time. Before I jump into the demo, I do want to introduce a basic concept to understand what is happening in Rabbit. 
So today you're tracking all of your project documents and you've probably got pay apps, invoices, lien waivers, you know, loan covenants. And you're keeping track of all of this information in disparate spreadsheets. So when you've got, you know, relevant information that is trapped in PDFs and that is being shared around by email, it's no wonder that real estate development teams have spreadsheets to manage everything from, you know, the cost coming in to how much retainage is going on. Uh, when you connect all this information, like Rabbit does, you only have to manage getting the information once. So instead of maintaining all of these different spreadsheets, you can have all of this information in one place. And what that does for you is it helps you trace where information came from and how it ties together. I'm sure all of you have had that experience of looking at a number in an Excel spreadsheet and then having to go dig through the PDF underlying documentation to understand how it got there. It also means that you can transform this information to any application that you need. So whether it's a draw summary for your lender or it's you know, an internal report um, or a report for your investment committee, right? You've got everything you need and you can slice it and dice it any which way to meet those needs. And then finally, when information is connected, you maintain data integrity between time periods. So we all know the pain of rolling forward a spreadsheet and making sure that, you know, all your reference cells are working just right. So you're picking up the correct information. When your information is connected, you no longer have to wonder if the information is right. You have a project memory that is happening for you. So with that, I'll jump into our product. So what we're going to walk through in the demo today is a uh, basic orientation of what's going on in Rabbit. Again, there's a lot going on in this platform. We're not going to be able to cover it all today. So I do want to give that plug again for that free trial. Uh, but we'll do a basic orientation of what's here. I'll show you how information gets connected and linked together and linked to your project budget. And then we'll, once everything is in connected, I'll show you how easy it is to go apply this information. And so we'll walk through a draw in under five minutes. We'll package a, a draw from beginning to end. So here we are on the portfolio page. You can see um, here I've got several projects going at one time. Um, you can see the, uh, that we're tracking the, this funding, you know, how much has been drawn on the project, and then what is next, act, the next action you need to take. So where you are um, on that project. I will note that here we have several different project types. Um, so, and this is again to highlight, no matter what your product type is from industrial to multifamily and everywhere in between, um, Rabbit has the configurability to handle that. I'm not going to have time to get into all of those details today, but I do want you to have full confidence that um, we know it's important to have all of your projects in one place and that every project is unique and that we can support them. So Rabbit has three main layers to the software. So we're looking at the portfolio layer. This is where you get all your aggregate information. When you uh, dive into a project, that's where you'll see that the budget and the agreements or contracts live. And so that's at the project level. And then finally, the most granular level is the draw. And the draw is where your costs are tracked and your lien waivers and any supporting documentation are tracked. So with that basic introduction, let's go ahead into a project. So I'm opening up Centennial Tower. And here again is our main project budget. You're able to get a quick view of what has happened to date. You're able to see your committed and uncommitted costs so you can make decisions quickly and get this information fast. 
It's also important to note um, that these budget line items and divisions are custom to each project. So we know that you're tracking different things and different levels of information for each of your projects. You know, some you may track hard costs and some you may not. Uh, whatever that may be, Rabbit can handle it. And there's, you have full control over what your line items are. So now I'm gonna take us over to our document hub. So if Rabbit is an always living and breathing budget, then the documents are the oxygen for the system. So here we can see a very nicely organized document hub. We've got project level documents and then draw level documents. It's all in one place. This is um, customers like at the, even though this is such a core functionality of Rabbit, uh, it's amazing how excited our developers get about having everything in one place and so neatly organized without having to go through the effort of manually naming every single document and um, opening each document to get this top level information. It is all just right here for your entire team to view. So let's open up an invoice from Amazing Architects. So here, this is the place where information gets connected. So this is our document view. Here on the right, you can see the raw document that we scanned in and uploaded to Rabbit. I specifically did a scan so you can see that we can read not only computer generated documents, you know, if you're still getting things in the mail, you're able to add those to Rabbit. And what Rabbit does when you add a document is first it classifies it. So Rabbit found that this was an invoice and then it starts to look for information. So Rabbit found the invoice number, invoice date and amount. And then it also found the vendor. I will say in this case, um, you know, on your first draw, it won't find that vendor. It needs to learn your vendors. Um, but here we are on the third draw and Rabbit has the vendor. Now, as someone who is processing this document, I would come in and select the line item in job cost code. So now is when I normally get asked by uh, our you know, prospective customers, how good is Rabbit? How much does it actually get? So again, on your first uh, draw, it will probably read at like an eighth grade reading level. But by your third draw, you know, it's writing term papers in your senior year of college. So Rabbit learns really fast and it learns your project really fast. So let's say that, you know, I've prepared this document and someone or someone else has prepared this document and they sent it to me to review and approve. What I would do as an approver is come in here and view this document and I would um, verify, you know, take a look through because I'm used to looking at the, the core document itself. And then I'd verify it's going to the right line item. But if I really needed guidance, Rabbit is flagging things for me that I need to be catching as a reviewer. It's putting up those guideposts and alerts throughout the system. So, you know, I planted this one. This is a duplicate invoice on this project. And so I might like, we know this is a duplicate and we're okay with it. And so we can communicate with each other about the state of these documents. When I'm ready, I'm able to simply press the approve button. Again, I've got that warning and I say, yes, I'm going to approve it anyways. So in summary, this is a really important piece of Rabbit. It is linking the documents and the information to other places in Rabbit. This is where all the magic happens, even though it looks you know, simple and straightforward. Uh, I was working with a customer last week and they were on their fourth draw and we wanted to go see how much it was getting. They added 30 documents and um, they were just loading soft costs to the system and 
from those 30 documents, Rabbit picked up over 90% of the information. That is 90% less effort on typing in information into spreadsheets. So we are really excited about that result and we know it's only gonna to continue to get better. All right, so now that we've seen how documents are connected in Rabbit, let's go see that application and put it to work. So let's navigate back to our project overview and go into draw three. So again, here we are on that third and most granular level of Rabbit. This is our draw overview page. So this should look very similar to draw summaries that you're preparing today. If there's, you know, we've got our, our budget, so our original, our adjustments and current. We have requested amounts from previous draws and the current requested amount. And then we're also tracking retainage by line item, um, where you, you can also see retainage, you know, by vendor or whatnot elsewhere in the system. Um, and then if there's anything you're not seeing here that you're used to seeing, we've got table actions. So we can go ahead and customize columns. Let's say we've got line item numbers we want to include. Let's move those further up to be the second column and apply. I haven't actually filled in line item numbers here, so uh, <laughs> that's a blank column. But I hope you can see how you can get the information that you need the way that you're used to seeing it in Rabbit. So some other table actions that we have is we can filter, we can group. Right now it's grouped by different divisions, but you can have other options for grouping. And then if we need to, we could save this table view. If it's a, a common thing that we want to come back to later, we can save the view or we can export to CSV. So any table that you see in Rabbit, you've got these options. All right. So you may have noticed that this current amount requested column has been filled in. I did not type these in. This all happened from when we linked information from the document and applied it to a draw. So if you'll remember, we looked at the architecture line item. So let's click into the architecture line item. Within one click, I'm able to see context around this line item. And within two clicks, I'm able to get to that document that we were looking at before. So again, that pain of having to dig for information, of scrolling through your email to find that, you know, was this document approved? You've got it all right here tied together in wrap. You may have noticed that there is this red exclamation point on the legal line item. So if we hover over it, we can see that this line item is overdrawn. So again, we've got Rabbit giving you the guidepost to what you need to do next. So we can see that the balance to fund is negative. So we have overdrawn this line item and we need to make a budget adjustment. So I'm going to come here. Let's add a new budget adjustment. We know that we've got that on legal. Uh, let's go ahead and make it $6,000. And let's pull that from our soft cost contingency. All right, so if, I, if this is a place where I've got a change order to support it, I'm able to attach that directly, again, linking information. But I'm gonna go ahead and save these changes and head back. And we see now that we have a positive balance to fund. So we've, gotten our draw summary complete. We've made the necessary budget adjustments. The next steps uh, for some of you might be confirming that lien waivers are in place or verifying uh, you know, that you haven't overdrawn agreements. So I'm not going to go into those today because um, I don't think we'll have time to get into that detail, but know that you can accomplish that on the hard and soft cost detail tabs. Where I'm going to go to next is actually the funding sources tab. So Rabbit tracks all your funding sources and uses and as many as you may have. I think the record on our system today 
is 13 funding sources and they are tracking specific uses for those. So here you can see I've got auto allocate funds turned on. So Rabbit has already come in and assigned out the cost that we had in our draw summary to our different funding sources. If for any reason I needed to override an amount, I'm able to do so. And we're able to um, keep track of drawn to date and amounts remaining um, for any of our sources. So here you can see that we've got our GP and our LP peri pasu. So everything from this draw will be coming from those two sources because we haven't got quite gotten into our loan yet. All right, so now we come to the control center of your draw. So this is where you can really make sure that it's good to go. So we've got, we can preview the draw package if we needed to. We can see outstanding approvals on the draw. We can add reviewers here if we need to. We can see who has received this draw in the past. If we have sent it to our equity partners before we send it to our lender, for example, we're able to track that here of who received what information when. And finally, any comments that we made along the way on the document, um, on documents or in other areas in the system, we're able to see them show up here. So that's really uh, supporting that collaboration and communication among your development team and then with your accounting teams, for example. So that brings me to our rules. So Rabbit has over 40 automatic rules available in the system. The main goal of these is to help you, of course, keep up with your best practices inside your team, uh, but also to help you track any specific terms you may have from your lender or equity partner. So you can see that we have eight automatic rules turned on for this project. I'll go ahead and show all of the ones that automatically passed. So here's where we can be confident that we've received lien waivers for all of our hard costs. If I didn't wanna go and look at the detail. This is where we can see that contingency is in line with what we would expect. And here we've got the one that we, we knew that was planted here of duplicate invoices on this project. So if I wanna override this, I am able to do so, I can pass it, uh, but we flag it as a manual um, flag. So you're not going to miss anything when you're looking at your rules in Rabbit. You can also keep a manual checklist um, for you know, your general sign off across the, the draw as well. So I'm just gonna pause there. I've, if anyone was timing me, we might've even beat five minutes on getting through the draw summary, budget adjustments, funding sources, and now reviewing and making sure that we're compliant with any of our partner's terms. I don't know about y'all, but if you're involved in preparing draws, this is a very big deal. Uh, so as a reviewer, I could come straight to this tab and I would see all of the work that has been done, any notes left for me, the entire package if I want to preview it, making sure that we're meeting all of our internal and external compliance. And I can sit here and say, I'm very confident approving this draw. When we're ready to send the draw to our stakeholders, we'll simply hit st send draw. We'll be like, this is easy. I'm sure you send a lot more professional notes to your partners. <laughs> and so here you can choose what to include in the package. So you might not include lien waivers for your equity partners, for example. So I'll go ahead and exclude those from what we're sending. Again, it could be important for us to track internally, but when we're sending it, um, we may not want to include it. So I'll hit next. We can see I've got a project stakeholder saved here. So, you know, Thomas Edison has, is funding my project and I'll be sending him an update. Uh, 
and it's it's stored here so you don't have to keep track of who is involved in what project and you know the five different people at a company that need to get this information it's all saved here in rabbit for you so here i'm going to send it to thomas edison and then we'll get to see this lovely preview email so we can be confident what they're going to receive so they get a nice summary of the draw and when they click this button any of the, the buttons in here they're able to either download the draw like they're used to today so they will receive a zip file of that budget summary and all the supporting documentation or if they're also rabbit users in our complimentary product for lenders and equity partners they're able to import the draw and see it in the same interactive format that you prepared it in so i'll go ahead and hit send off to thomas edison and with that we've completed a draw so Ash, I'll go ahead and open it up to questions. Just as a reminder to everyone, we've, we have walked through a basic orientation of Rabbit. We have uh, connected documents and linked information out. And we also have used that connected information in an application of a draw that we're able to get done in five minutes or less. Stephanie, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, let's open up to audience q and A. I'm um, going to share my screen real quick during this process. Actually, no, let's keep your screen up, Stephanie, because uh, it has your contact information up there. Uh, so a few questions came in, uh, but let's kind of just quickly jump, uh, ju sorry, just jump into this. Uh, does Rabbit track uh, contacts, sorry, contracts or send against contracts? Yes, so I wasn't able to show that today, but we are able to track your spending against your um, you know, agreements that you may have with vendors or with your contractors directly. That's awesome. And you know, we're, we're obviously in this COVID era of, of real estate and, and understanding how real estate professionals are monitoring their finances in today's world, you know, um, can you just quickly just walk us through um, uh, how Rabbit can help track um, and, 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 and basically anticipate costs? Yeah, so we're, we're certainly aware that, you know, folks are experiencing delays in projects and, you know, or sourcing materials. And anytime you've got that, there can be things that, that pop up. And even without COVID, things pop up on your projects all the time. Uh, so Rabbit, um, in addition to tracking agreements and contracts, we are able to track uh, anticipated costs. We call them exposures in the system. Um, so as soon as you're aware of a potential costs that you have not accounted for, you're able to add it. And then you'll see it in that, those different versions of your budgets. So you've got the committed costs, but there's also a committed plus exposures. So you can really get that information quickly. That's awesome. And, and um, we shared a link in, in the chat feature earlier, but if you'd like to try Rabbit for free for seven days, please click on that link uh, located within the chat feature of today's conversation. Uh, Stephanie, one last question. Um, before we, uh, we, we, we move it over to cover C, um, do any outside parties like professionals, um, other LPs, owner operators, uh, other investors, do they have to use Rabbit if they're outside of, of, uh, of the organization? Yeah, you know, the, the vision and purpose of Rabbit is to connect the different parties around a project but we certainly don't require their participation. Mm -hmm. So again, any of your partners or lenders um, externally are able to download the information the old fashioned way if they choose to continue to do that. Um, and then on the other side, you know, when you're working with general contractors or your own internal construction management team, uh, they've got the option of being involved, but they don't have to be involved. You know, as we saw with the machine learning, Rabbit can really do a lot of the assistance. So if you don't want to include others, you're able to, to not do that. 
That's awesome. Uh, huge fan of your company um, uh, and uh, love what you guys are doing. Um, Stephanie, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I know you have the screen up, but if, if people have any questions, how can they get a hold of you? Yes, please contact me at sgutman at rabbit.com. I'd be happy to, to field any questions or, you know, set up a further conversation so you can see the other parts of the platform. That's awesome. Stephanie, thank you very much. Have a, have a wonderful week. Thanks. See you as well. Thank you.